welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. So this week, we're kind of playing off of last week a little bit where we were talking about transitions. So I got a couple questions on how do I change more than one transition? Let's say I need to change something. How do I do that? So I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm also going to show you a couple more keyboard shortcuts to add the transitions in your clips. So let's jump in DaVinci Resolve and check it out. All right, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve. And like we talked about last week, we can select all of our clips and use Command T to add transitions to all of our clips. Now, let's say that we just want to add it to our video clips. Last week, we showed you how you can unclick the little link selection icon here, but now we have a better way to do it thanks to one of our viewers out there. So if you select all your clips here, you can use the keyboard shortcut Option T, and that's going to add it to only your video clips. Pretty sweet, right? So let me undo that real quick. And now if you want to add it to, let's say, just your audio clips, again, select all your clips and you can use Shift. T, and that's going to add it to just your audio clips. Pretty sweet. All right, so those are some good keyboard shortcuts. Now let's say we want to make a modification to the transitions we already have on our video clips here, or it could be your audio clips. It doesn't really matter. So what you want to do is select the transitions that you want to make a change to. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and select all of them. So to make a change all at once, select them all and come to your inspector at the top right over here. Once you're in the inspector, I'm gonna actually click this little icon right here to expand my inspector. Now you can make changes to any of these and it will affect all of the transitions you have selected. So let's say I wanted to change the transition. I wanna do a triangle. Now you can see down here on our transitions, they all change to the triangle right. Let's say I wanted to set the number of frames. I wanted to do 10 frames. You can see down here in the timeline, it's shrunk all of those transitions. So it's a real quick way that you can make adjustments to multiple transitions at one time. So while we're on the subject of transitions, another tip for you here is how you can adjust the default length of a transition. So we know that if we drop a transition onto two clips here, you can come and drag it and make it longer or shorter if you'd like. But how do you set that default size? So it's pretty easy to adjust the default setting for that transition. So if we come up to DaVinci Resolve at the top and we come down to Preferences, and now we're going to come over to the user section here and we're going to come down to editing. When I scroll down the editing section here, you see we have general settings. And if we look under general settings, we've got a bunch of different options here. And one of the options is this right here, standard transition duration. So you have the option to set how many seconds or how many frames you want that transition to be. And this is going to be the default setting. You can always adjust them if you need to, but this is just the initial duration when you apply a transition to two clips, whether it's a video clip or an audio clip. So you can see here, my default is set at one second, but you can change it to any number of frames you want. Say I want to do 10 frames. Then the setting is going to hold true for all of your projects because anything you set in this preference panel here is going to stay true for all of your future projects. All right, guys, so there you go. There's a few more tips in working with transitions just to kind of help speed things up for you a little bit. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel. And I do have one more question for you. Recently, I put out a poll asking you guys, the viewers, if you are interested in getting some tips just about YouTube in general, because I found that a lot of you guys are starting your own YouTube channels or maybe you already have one and you're looking to grow it. So are you interested in some tips about how to do that? I've been doing this for a few years and you learn some things along the way that you didn't know when you got started. So I thought, hey, maybe some of that info could be helpful to you guys who are just trying to get your channel going or just get started, or maybe you wanna just grow your channel. So if you are interested in some tips about how to grow your YouTube channel, leave a comment down below or head on over to that post that I made and vote in that poll. Are you interested or are you not? So I wanna thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.